What's up everybody, it's Roger and Victoria here from the Disney Kingdom Podcast. In this episode we're going to be talking about all the major announcements that are going to be coming to the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World from the D23 Expo. Uh, obviously one of them was a major new attraction that's going to be opening up um, for the 50th, which is the Neutron Light Cycle Roller Coaster that has already been built in Shanghai. We'd been hearing rumours of it, um, There was it was confirmed for a little bit, um, <laughs> but what did you think of this of the news that came out of the D23 Expo? I am ecstatic because tomorrow I need something desperately. Yes. And I am very, very excited. Yeah, I mean, I'm just generally just like, you know, we, we'd all heard about it. I'll be honest, the, the Tomorrowland Speedway, which I'm going to be honest, I've been calling Utopia for ages. So I don't know what. <laughs> it was like, and then we went to Tomorrowland Speedway. And went, What's that? It's like, oh, Utopia. Okay. Um, Autotopia kind of thing. Um, but no, it's to me. The fact that they aren't taking away that attraction, that kind of leaves this good, you know. A lot of people don't like anything being touched, so adding new is always a good thing. I think it fits the Tomorrowland's theme because it's futuristic. It's also not going to date as badly because it's it's futuristic, but it's, it doesn't really, it's not really a dateable thing. Um, would it have worked better in Future World? Yeah. Yeah. But I can see Absolutely. why they swapped it with Guardians of the Galaxy, which we would have discussed on the Epcot show. Um, but yeah, I just it, to me, I just look at it and go, yeah, no, Brett, what you know, how what what's that? This, I can't. There's nothing in my mind bad about that at all. I think the only thing people were upset about, as far as this attraction coming, is that Tomorrowland Speedway did not get replaced. By it. That's the only thing I saw on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's a plot, but maybe they can do something with it later. Um, but at the end of the day, it's probably a very low, that that attraction isn't costing them a lot to run. Um, and I have a feeling, it's, you know, anytime anything new gets announced, or especially more important, anytime anything old is removed, people go up the wall. Um, because everyone just wants new. They want the old stuff to stay and just new stuff, which at Disney World's easier than that is at California. Um, but yeah, I literally thought, Great, major new attraction coming to the uh, Magic Kingdom. You know, they also announced was that there was a a new a new town hall or something. Um. Yes. Um. They, from what I gather, they are going to be revamping Town Square Theater and turning it into an entertainment venue rather than a place where you can meet and greet Mickey and um. Yeah, I mean, it, that that was kind of one of them, kind of like, okay, but well, it's something I'd never use, something I'd, I wouldn't really worry about while I was there. Um, but generally, I just thought as a whole, sort of, I think Magic Kingdom getting a major roller coaster announcement, you know, that's still epic. It just, there was so much announced, so it kind of got, and I think it's been rumored for so long that it, it was one of those things of like, okay, all right, that's good. Yeah, I feel like with the news being leaked out so soon, I mean, it got it gave people time to you know marinate on the idea, accept it. Um, as far as the theater, I don't know if that was necessary, but I'm not mad at the idea either. No, I mean, there might be an idea that they need to kind of have a, new, a venue like that and have a modern one or a bigger one, or and so they can do something. Maybe they can do something with another with the, one of the older ones. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I mean, that, that you know, that could be easy, the thing. Um, just looking here at some of the other bits that were slightly, because while Magic Kingdom had that, there wasn't too much on anything else. They did announce as well that there's a Star Wars themed hotel plan for Walt Disney World as well, um, which we'd seen concept art release fell out a like, quick bucks um, survey a while ago. And also, they announced that there's going to be a, the gondola is officially happening at the Disney Skyline, which is going to be connecting um, Disney's Art of Animation, Pop Century, and Caribbean Beach, um, and also the new Riviera Resort as well to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Which again, good news all around. I think to get get people in and around the parks. Oh yeah, I agree. I mean. The DVC Resort, I again, another thing I didn't see coming, but based on blueprints, now that I'm looking back on it, that makes sense. Skyliner, we knew about. Very excited about that. Um, Star Wars Steam Hotel. Um, I've seen rumblings about prices, like it being six fifty a night for a minimum two nights, and 
per person, 200. Yeah, but you, like, I, but I yeah. think with that, you do get two personal stormtroopers to follow you around all day. That's what I'd be expecting for that price. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> is, yeah, $700 a night? Yeah, no. Um, yeah, just to have a themed room. I, I, I'll I, wait judgment till it hits, but at those prices, it is. It, I mean, it is a premium event, and it's definitely for adults and stuff, but... Yeah, um, should be interesting. I mean, whether or not they can get that thing built by the time Star Wars Land opens up, who knows? But there was something else, and I was talking again to, to my uh, brother in law today the minivan. Um, the which minivan. I think, <laughs> I think it's one of the most um, corniest little names possible because obviously you just think mini, a minivan. And then it's just like, no, it's just mini. And it's just like the, the wordplay on that, I think, is so, so great of just how it is. I mean, I mean, it's going to be quite funny to sort of see these cars run out, which I'm guessing is kind of like, um, it's basically their version of Uber. But yeah, I, I just think that, I just think that, that I, I just was a little bit tickled by just how good a pun that was. Oh, honestly, I thought it was like, I mean, it was the obvious way to go, but I was hoping they wouldn't go that way. Um, based on pricing, right now it's only going to be from Caribbean, no, Boardwalk and Yacht Club. Mm. Uh, twenty dollars per trip per vehicle, and it's gonna expand throughout the property later. I don't know. I mean, I've Ubered between property before. It's never cost me more than between five and fifteen dollars. So I mean, mm. yeah, that's yeah. really depends. Yeah, you gotta pay for the pink. Um, it definitely. <laughs> um, it just it's gonna be interesting to see how they do it. I mean, it's obviously their own version. I did think that was rather cool how it works. They're at least giving people options. I think there's this idea that. Chucking everybody onto the buses works to some degree, but they need to they need more infrastructure in place. And if they have monorails, boats, gondolas, minivans, buses, boats, you know, it just helps. Any way to move people around out off of the roads is good. Also true. I mean, I've heard little, you know, jabs at Skyway, the attraction, for those who don't know, that used to be in Magic Kingdom similar to the one yeah. in Disneyland, but I feel like we got the technology to, it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be, the thing is for me is that if I was staying at the resort, that would be a cool way of getting into the park, you know, um, especially if you're going to either of those two parks, that would be a good way, and it becomes part of the trip, and it's a benefit of staying on the site. Um, you know, I've li- I've liked last, you know, last time we went, we were at Port Orleans, and we could... Um, you know, we could catch the boat down to Disney Springs or down to, down to Disney at the time. You know, these little things, that's what makes it cool. And I think if this just eases the buses and just does it and just, I would love it. I'd go on it without a second thought. My wife would, would never get a chance for to go on it, but um, uh, it definitely does look cool. Yeah, I agree. I like the design. I'm personally very excited about it. I've seen where they've done construction personally at International Gateway near the resort. I've seen it. I'm excited for it. It's going to be great. And I'm, all these things are going to be proposed, like supposedly done before the 50th, which I'm mm. very excited about. I think as well, especially with all the issues with just connecting those. Pu- I think one of the big things that was cool about like having the monorail connected to hotels was that it was always a selling point. And of course, they built all these things out there. I mean, now, once they've got this infrastructure in place, this could just be step one. You know, they could add more lines. They could add more connections. They could, in theory, link every single um, part, every single resort to, you know, maybe even a central hub or something. You know, there there could be a way. This is just to me feels like it could be part of, it could be a one off or it could be part of a major expansion. I mean, I feel like this is definitely Disney's attempt at keeping their guests on property for sure. They want people to stay here because some people just. You know, they go out, they do this with good neighbor hotels and all that stuff because it's cheaper. But this is a way to keep, sell them on staying on property and keeping them on property. Yeah, and obviously uh, we've all seen the numbers from the Universal that have just kept growing. Um, I know we know we've been talking, talking to friends and, and family, you know, about upcoming trips and, you know, that they're all going on. And it's like, you know, Universal is now a three, four day thing. And that's part of it now. It's part of going to Orlando, and Disney are trying to fight that. Oh, absolutely! Especially with, I mean, we all know Nintendo Land's coming. It's coming. It's just a matter of when they're going to announce it. So they really have to do things to compete with that. Yeah, 
but no, it definitely, I think Nintendo Land has been officially revealed, but um, no details on it. But just as a whole, D23, there was no parade or anything else. I'm just trying to look through my notes and stuff. I couldn't, can't see anything. Oh, yeah, everything else is other attractions, which we're going to, other parks, which we'll discuss in other things. So if you've got any comments about um, what's coming to um, the Magic Kingdom, and also kind of interconnected out to what Disney World, let us know in the comments below. Get in touch with us on social media. Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to check us out over at thiskingdom.com. Hit that subscribe button, and we shall see you guys in another episode. Later. Bye.